In this video, I'll show you how to achieve this satisfying cube rolling effect in just a few steps. Okay, let's start by creating a C sharp script or play controller, whatever you'd like. All right, so let's start by capturing some player input. Uh, get key down, and let's make it left for now. So when rolling a cube, you can't uh, just rotate it from the center, because if you rotate it from the center, you'll obviously get this kind of effect. So what we need to do is we need to find a anchor point, which will be, when turning left, it will be down here, and then we need to rotate it over that pivot point there. Okay, so to get the uh, anchor point, let's say anchor equals transform.position plus new vector three, and we're going to be moving half a unit left and then half a unit down, are we? So, uh, so left 0 0.5 and then down 0 0.5 and then on the Z we're doing nothing. So there's our anchor. And then to find our axis, so we need to know which, uh, which axis the cube is going to actually rotate on it. And for left, it's, as you can see, it's on the Z axis there. So to find that out, we can do vector three cross and we'll take in our, yeah, we'll take in our up, vector three up. And then uh, as this is left, we'll say vector three left, vector three left, and then that will give us our cross. So what vector three cross does is it finds the perpendicular uh, axis when given two other axes. So for example, we're, we're giving it uh, up and left, so y and then uh, left on the x, so the perpendicular would actually be uh, the z axis, which is uh, perfect for us because we're wanting to rotate on the z axis. Okay, so now that we've got our anchor and our axis, let's create the actual roll script. So I enumerator, let's call this roll, and this will take a vector three anchor and a vector three axis. And then we want to say, we only want to accept movement while we're uh, stationary. So let's create a private bool is moving. And then here, let's set it is in fact true. And then we'll do our movement script here. And then let's just say uh, is moving down here, set to false. So while we're moving, let's, so basically we need to rotate 90 degrees. Uh, and we want to do that over time. So let's create here a private, actually let's, we need to serialize this. So private float and then roll speed. And let's default this to three. So then here we're saying we need to roll 90 degrees uh, and we want to split this up uh, over our roll speed. So 90 divided by roll speed. Okay, and then in here we will be saying transform dot rotate around whoops it's not transform transform dot rotates around and we will be sending in our anchor because that's the uh this is not the correct one so this is the correct one here so the point that we're rotating around the axis which is in the, our case the z and then the angle which will be uh our roll speed so axis um there and then uh, roll speed just like that and then we will yield return here just so it doesn't all happen at once uh, wait for seconds let's do 0 0.01 like that and that should already do the job so then here we can say start coroutine roll and we'll send in our anchor and our axis like that and up here, let's just prevent anything from happening if we're already moving. So let's just return straight out of our update function if we're moving. And let's check to see how that works. So put our player controller on the cube, roll speed set to three. Let's try that and go left. There we go, perfect. So the only thing left to do is to do this code for all the directions. But we obviously don't want to repeat this code for everything, so let's create a little um, little function here, a little internal function. Um, let's call it assemble 
and then this will take in a vector three direction. Let's copy this code and put it in here. And now we don't want to hard code this anchor point, so we can infer that from the direction. So let's do this vector three down plus direction uh, times 0 0.5 as we're only going half a unit. And we will replace the left here with our direction. And then we can just use this here and we can say vector three left. And then let's copy this a few times. And we'll say this one will be right. And then this one will be forward. And this one will be back. Okay, let's check that out. Let's play. And there we go. We've got a rolling ball. Now we obviously don't want to be pressing pressing the button every time we want to roll, so let's do a little bit of changing here. We can change that from down to just get key. Now remember this won't still happen every frame because as soon as we assemble here, we are starting moving. So this is just going to return until we're finished. Uh, so let's just clean this up a little bit. And there we go, that should just be about it. So if we up our move speed a little bit, something to like nine. And there we go, a rolling cube. Pretty easy, not too much code, easy to understand. So if you enjoyed it, uh, do what that text says there, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.